All right, we are ready to start our trail. We are going on the Superior Hiking Trail today. 131st Avenue to Spirit Mountain something or other. So I'm gonna strap myself in and uh, let you hike with me. An indigenous forest. It's never been logged, I guess. And we're not 100% sure where we are. So we got that going on. We think we're on the right trail. <laughs> There's tons of different spur trails out here, so we'll see where this one leads. I've been like going up forever. There's a big hill right there. We're still climbing on the way to Ely's Peak. So this is actually a spur trail that gets to the hiking trail. The main trail. This is just the spur that gets up, connects, and this one allows mountain bikers. And <laughs> I've had, I just had a group come by here going downhill at like 20 miles an hour. It was insane. If you're a hiker, you just get out of the way. Let them kill themselves without your help. So we're still in this indigenous woods. Really pretty out here. Rained last night. We stayed up by... I stayed up right by... Um, Spirit Mountain. And you got a shuttle down here. I don't know if you can appreciate how big this hill is. But, uh, <laughs> Laura told me, better bring your rain gear, it's gonna rain. And I'm like, it's literally 100 degrees in Duluth right now. And there is no forecast anywhere online that says a chance of rain, except for whatever mama found. So, of course, it rained at five o'clock this morning. And I had to get up, because being the dork that I was, I didn't throw the rain tarp on the tent. So I got wet. Not bad. I had everything covered up pretty quick. And then I ended up just pulling camp a little early, getting on the trail. But today where it's 100, or yesterday where it was 100, today, is supposed to be around 80. All right, there's a blue blaze that way and a blue blaze this way. So we're going to try this and hope that we're right. What we want to find is a blue blaze. There it is. That's how we tell where we're going. And you can tell that we're off the bike trail now. Because the, ro the ro roots and all that. But this is how we decide where we're going. Now we go downhill for a little bit. So this part of the trail is usually pretty busy just because it's in Duluth. Um, well, out of the city, it's we're way on top of the hill, right? But um, so the, the path is pretty, pretty easy to find. But there's also a ton of different spur trails and bike trails that cross. So you just got to keep your eye peeled. But yeah, see, they don't let bikes go down this stuff here. And kill them. Well, 
Looks like we have to find a new route, but we're really not going to. We're going to go across the water. The water's really not that bad right now. It's pretty low. Well, apparently, <laughs> apparently nature moved some rocks. God put them right in the right spot here. We don't need your stinking bridge. Good morning. I think we're coming up on something here. Yeah, I'd say we are. A lot of haze. There we are. Oh man. Okay. Well, that's pretty. This is Ely's Peak. That's the St. Louis River down there. Duluth is around the corner. Looks like I got a little bit more I can go yet. I feel like a goat. All right, here we are up on Eli's Peak. Just realized I forgot all of my candy bars. I got no food. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day whining about that. But there we are, if you can see. If you can see the poles, that's where we came from, way down there. So it's hot, I'm getting back on the trail.
So this is kind of a fun section right here. It's all along the rocks. So here we are. We were walking the rocks. There are trains everywhere around this place. So. It's so old people break hips. <clears throat> well, I've been lost for the last two hours. There are 18,000 different cross trails and bike trails and spur trails out here. And I turned right when I got off the apparently off of one of the spur trails when I was supposed to go left. And so I put about an extra four miles on walking around the mountains. Now we're back in business on our way. One of my treats of the whole day was I had a chance to run into somebody kind of famous on the trail, at least Facebook famous. But a lot of us know this, know this or have seen his story. His name is Mo. He is 95 years old, 96 years old, and he is still hiking the Superior Hiking Trail. So anybody at home that says I'm too old, well, first off, I'm an old guy. And he's a really old guy. Was on the Forest Lake Fire Department, talked to him a little bit, got my picture taken with him. Should have had the camera rolling. What a great guy. 96 years old, and he hiked up that mountain that we that I videotaped so up onto Ely's peak still climbing hills we've found a road I think this is called West Skyline Road According to the guidebook. And if that is where we are, we'll take a look at the guidebook, at the data book. West Skyline Crossway, 276.5. And we are parked at 272.9. So it's how old people break hips. Bunch of cedars here. Two miles to the car. All that ascending we did before is now descending. This is where you get confused. You gotta pay attention to the blue blazes. Those things, those loops are a mess. That's quite a gorge. No water there now. One piece of metal or barrel or something.
which I don't even see how far down that is. Ryan would be dying. This is pretty. This is the Stewart Creek Lake Superior Watershed. Well, the Stewart Creek looks like it's the Stewart Desert. Interesting. Looks like these rocks have been cut away. There's a bridge. Let's see what it says. Gogobeck Creek Bridge with Stone Canal. Well, there's the Stone Canal. Here's the Gogobeck Bridge. All right, we're coming on the spur to where I camped last night. So if you go up that way, a half a mile, that's where we camped. We're going downhill. Well, that looks like it. I'm betting that's the ski runs coming down here. Maybe not there, but I'll bet that is. I know we're getting close to the ski. Yeah, these are ski runs. Some of these spots up here, I can just, I'm sure they are. We're getting to the end. That's a different thing. Only about, well, according to my GPS, which has failed me today, only about three tenths of a mile to go. So we'll talk to you when we hit the spur. Well, we are just about out, I think. I mean, I'm at the chairlift, but who knows where I have to go for my car. So we've done, you know, just hit 12 miles. <laughs> A little bit of it was an extra loop that I didn't need to do, but whatever. So I would say as far as challenging, this is one of the more challenging segments I've ever walked on. It, it, this was a hard segment. If you uh, want to start doing the Superior Hiking Trail, don't do this one for your first one. Because you'll like never come back. But, oh, I see my car. Yay! There's the ski hill. Which I think you see. And over there is my car. So, it ended up being a great hike. But I have to admit, I'm glad it's done. So, thank you so much for riding along with me. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it.